Hey 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 what's up welcome to another video this is webhub and you're watching tech tricks and in today's video we are going through different type of linux distributions their advantages and disadvantages over one another what unique features they have and what linux distro will be good for you as per your requirements so we are going to look at the top linux distros available out there in the market according to my preference and after considering various factors like if they are beginner friendly or what is the learning curve after switching it from a windows or a mac os desktop and availability of applications to start with first we have zorin os zorin os is an ubuntu based linux operating system specifically made for beginners who want to migrate from windows and mac os without typing any commands in the terminal it has one of the easiest installations out there and everything appears clearly in front of you it is designed to be easy so you don't need to learn anything to get started the zorin appearance app lets you change the desktop layout to feel like the environment you are familiar with whether it's the windows or mac os it comes with all the essential applications you need out of the box so you can get working right away you can discover thousands of powerful apps from the built-in software store you can even run many windows apps in zorin os with the windows app support this desktop arrangement is highly recognizable to everyone which makes it quite simple for even the most inexperienced users zorin is a good place to start for linux beginners you can tell where everything is merely by looking at the screen Mozilla Firefox is one of the most popular and widely used web browsers in the world. It is available for installation on all major Linux distros and Zorin OS as well. It is even included as the default web browser for some of the Linux systems. All in all, if you are someone who is very new to the Linux environment, Zorin OS takes care of a lot of things like the usability and the overall similar look and feel of the Windows and it can be a very pleasant experience to use. Next up we have Pop OS. Pop OS is an operating system for STEM and creative professionals who use their computers as a tool to discover and create. Unleash your potential on secure reliable open source software. Pop OS is designed for navigation, easy workplace organization and fluid convenient workflow. It provides full support out of the box for AMD and Nvidia GPUs. So if you are a heavy gamer or you like to play games, uh, this OS is preferred to you. Uh, it is regarded as an easy distribution to set up for gaming and mainly due to its built-in CPU support. It provides default disk encryption, streamlined window and workspace management. Keyboard shortcuts for navigation are also built in and the latest releases also have packages that allow for easy setup for CUDA and TensorFlow profiles. So what are the benefits of uh, Pop OS? Pop OS is incredibly stable. It has a really great performance. The UI is great. The system is cohesive. So if you're someone who is a creative professional who wants to use Adobe applications or who likes to play games on their computer or laptop, the Pop OS is perfect for you. Next up we have Elementary OS. Elementary OS is a Linux distribution based on Ubuntu that features the custom developed Pantheon desktop environment. One of the key aspects aside from the unique look and feel are the custom coded apps and paid app store that are available with the Elementary OS. On boot up we are greeted with the Elementary OS Pantheon desktop which you can tell took inspiration from Mac OS. That's not a good thing, however, as many people are fond of the look and feel and it's just flows. Elementary OS does an excellent job with the apps it ships with. They include music, web browser, mail, photos, videos, calendars, files, terminals, scratch and camera, all built to work hand in hand with the elementary OS functions. And the last and most favorite of all is Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a Linux based operating system. It is designed for computers, smartphones and network servers. The system is developed by a UK based company called Canonical Limited. All the principles used to develop the Ubuntu software are based on the principles of open source software development. Ubuntu is completely free to use means anyone can use Ubuntu for any type of purpose. You can customize your Ubuntu as you want. Ubuntu is the most popular operating system out there running in hosted environments and cloud apps as it is the most popular server Linux distribution. Ubuntu is completely open source and it can run on clouds, servers, desktops, smartphones, 
tablets and much more. Ubuntu defaults installation contain many types of pre-installed softwares like web browser uh, that is Firefox and Office Suite that is the LibreOffice, Thunderbird, PDF readers and many other softwares. But if you want more type of softwares then Ubuntu also contains a wide range of software that can install from Ubuntu Software Central easily. It will be wrong to say that Ubuntu is 100% immune to viruses. However, in comparison to Windows, which needs use of antivirus prominently, the malware risk associated with Ubuntu Linux are negligible. It also saves you the antivirus cost because you don't need any. It's built-in firewall and virus protection method makes sure you are protected from everything. The new users might not be knowing that apart from the basic norm-based Ubuntu, there are lots of other flavors present. Uh, there are various variants of Ubuntu that fulfill specific needs of the users. If you wish to try out the modern and sleek looking KDE desktop environment, there's Kubuntu. For systems with low configuration, Lubuntu and Zubuntu are available. Ubuntu GNOME and Ubuntu Mate are two other popular flavors. Ed Ubuntu is focused on schools and educational institutions. Tons of choices, right? Finding a software of your interest is much easier in Ubuntu Linux. You simply need to open the Ubuntu Software Center and find all the useful softwares. Simply click on the install button and the package is installed. Alternatively, you can also use many other softwares with few simple lines of commands. For basic usage, Ubuntu comes pre-installed with a lot of softwares. If you enjoyed this video, consider pressing the like button, share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. That's it for today, I'll see you in the next one.